Have you ever felt overwhelmed by trying to sort and manage your video collection? From tricky formats to stuck media and missing metadata, organizing videos can be a real headache. Stick with me because in this video, I'll show you how to solve these common video problems step by step with tools that will make your life so much easier. Understanding the weird ways of video files is one of the topics I get the most questions about, as let's face it, they are crazy. So in this video, we are tackling all of these problems from file formats to multiple clips. We'll solve these problems together so that you can focus on enjoying your memories. Problem one, formats. First up, let's talk about formats. Have you ever tried to open a video only to find your device doesn't support that file type? This is one of the most common frustrations when it comes to managing videos. The solution. What is the solution? We'll change the format. But how do you do that? With conversion tools. And I've got a few that are my favorites. Handbrake. If you're on a Mac, Handbrake is your go-to tool. It's free and perfect for converting videos into formats that your device can handle. First, download Handbrake, obviously. Click on the open source button and navigate to the file or folder of videos. Handbrake will scan the files and display its details in the titles area. For presets, you have a lot of options, but check out general presets for standard conversions like 1080p or 720p, or the device presets that are optimized for playback on specific devices like your iPhone, Android, or Apple TV. Choose a preset that fits your needs. For most situations, fast 1080p 30 is a good starting point. Under the Save As section, click Browse to select where you want to save the converted files. Choose or create a folder. Then you can press Start. But if you've selected a folder of files, you can select the first file from the drop down in the title area, then select to add it to the queue. Then in the drop down, select the next title and then add that to the queue. You can then see your queue in the queue area at the top. You can start it from here or in the main control panel. And the progress at the bottom will show the status of all your conversions until they are done. VLC player. Another fantastic option is VLC Player, which works on both Mac and PC. It can play nearly any video format without needing to convert the file first. This is especially handy for quickly viewing, but also you can use it to convert your files into a more useful format. It works differently on a Mac and a PC. On a PC, you can do multiple files at once. So download and install VLC Media Player. From the main menu, click Media, Convert and Save. In the Open Media window, click on the Add button. Browse your computer to select the video file or files you want to convert. Once added, click Convert Save. In the Convert window, under Profile, select the output you want. I tend to go for MP4. Under destination, click browse to select where you want to save the converted file. If you've selected multiple files, they will be saved in the same folder they are currently in. Click start to begin the conversion and VLC will start processing your videos and you'll see the progress in the player in the timeline. On a Mac, you unfortunately can only do one file at a time and it's slightly different. From the main menu, go to file, convert, stream. Drop your file into the media area at the top. Choose your profile and you can customize as you like. Choose save as file, then choose your destination. Click save and your file will be converted. Perfect. With these tools, format issues are a thing of the past, thankfully. Problem two, stuck media. Now let's tackle stuck media. Those old CDs, DVDs, or drives with videos you can't access anymore. It's heartbreaking to think your memories might be locked away forever, but there is hope. The solution. The solution is some nifty programs that can dig deep into those CDs, DVDs, and hard drives and extract your files to your computer or a hard drive. Naturally, I have a couple of programs that are my favorites to do this. CD Roller. For those old disks that won't load, CD Roller is a lifesaver. It's designed to recover data from damaged CDs or DVDs, making it possible to retrieve those precious videos. 
First, download and install CD Roller. Insert the disk you want to extract data from into your CD drive. Open the CD Roller application, select to recover all and say where you want to save it and it will save your data directly from the disk to that location. Perfect. Isobuster. Another great tool is Isobuster, which works for a wide range of stuck media, including corrupt flash drives and hard disks. Simply run the tool and it will recover your videos for you. Download and install Isobuster. Insert the disk you want to extract data from into your CD drive. Wait for the operating system to detect the disk. In Isobuster, go to select a drive and select your CD drive from the list. Isobuster will scan the disk and display its contents in a tree-like structure on the left-hand side. You'll see tracks, sessions, files and folders if the disk is readable. Right-click on the file, folder or session you want to extract. Select to extract the data, choose a destination folder on your computer where you want to extract the files, confirm the action and Isobuster will begin extracting all of that lovely data. So don't let stuck media hold your memories hostage. These tools can bring them back into your life. Problem three, metadata. Now let's talk about metadata. Metadata includes the information attached to your videos, like the date they were taken. Without it, your videos can end up out of order, making it impossible to relive your memories chronologically. And videos love to pick up random creation dates if you copy and paste them around. The solution. The solution is that the dates are still there, hidden in the back of your files in the metadata. And you can find that data with some epic programs and copy it to be the creation date. Confusion, big on. There are a couple of great options out there that you can use to find and copy that data over. A better finder attributes. If you're on a Mac, a better finder attributes is perfect for fixing metadata. You can easily edit or add dates, making sure your videos appear in the correct timeline. If you want to see my step-by-step -step guide for changing dates on your videos using better find attributes, then check out this little video up here. Adobe Bridge. For another option, there is Adobe Bridge, which lets you edit metadata in bulk. So it's great if you're working with large collections of videos. So by fixing your metadata, you'll always know exactly when your videos were taken. Problem four, multiple clips. Do you have folders of short video clips from the same event? It can be frustrating to scroll through dozens of clips just to relive one memory. The solution, the solution is to merge them all together and you don't need to be a video editing genius to do it. Here are some of my favorite options. Quick time player. For Mac users, QuickTime Player is an easy way to combine multiple clips into one video. Open QuickTime Player on your Mac. Click on File and Open File and select the first video clip you want to combine. This video will open in a new QuickTime window. Then go to Finder and find the rest of the clips to be merged. Select them all with selecting the first image, hold down the Shift key and selecting the last image. Then click and drag the clips into the timeline at the bottom of the QuickTime window. To rearrange their sequence, just click out and just drag them in the right order. Preview the playback to ensure the order is correct by just pressing play and scrolling through. Once you've done adding and arranging your clips, go to File and Export. Choose your desired resolution for the final video, so 1080p in this case, and then select the location to save your file. Enter a name, click Save. QuickTime will process and export the combined video as a single file. Filmora. If you want more control or are on a PC, Filmora is a fantastic editing tool. You can merge clips, add transitions, and even enhance the video quality, all with an intuitive interface. Download and install Filmora. Open it up and select a new project from the home screen. Click import in the top left-hand corner and choose import media files. You can browse your computer and select the video clips you want to combine. You can also just drag and drop the files directly into the media library. Drag the video clips from the media library into the timeline at the bottom of the screen. You can do one at a time or you can select them all and then just drag them in and arrange the clips in the order you want them to appear. You can up your game with your video clip transitions and all sorts of effects if you want to just take it to the next level. 
When you are happy, click the export button at the top. In the export window, choose your desired format, set a resolution, select a name and a destination for your video. Click export to start the rendering process. Once the export is complete, go to the folder you selected to save the video and play the combined video just to make sure everything has worked out as you were expecting. Combining your clips simplifies your library and makes sharing your videos so much easier. And there you have it, the top solutions to the most common video problems, whether it's tricky formats, stuck media, missing metadata, or managing multiple clips. These tools will help you regain control of your video library. But what if you want to have a good old sort of your digital photos? Then check out this little video next to find out my top tips. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with anyone who needs a little video organizing help. And let me know in the comments what's your biggest challenge when it comes to managing videos. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.